clearly could distinguish the political theatre from the real spirit and soul that beats within the hearts and minds of our residents. The reason why so many people, so many turn their backs on politicians. Too many residents have come to understand that they have no say, unable to shape the future of this town. Wellborn is not their vision. The vision of Wellborn belongs to the mindset here in this chamber. Many of you put up the shutters to the public disquiet years ago, not interested in the wider public sentiment. What is so extraordinary, many of you couldn't even debate the complexities of Wellborn because you don't grasp Wellborn. Wellborn is a mindset of shadows and control freaks who believe Fairham should build not just for their own housing needs, but for the needs of thousands from outside the Fairham boundaries. The cry is one of, come on in, we're building for you. Enough to make one weak. Where is the honesty in the statement that, that Wellborn is for Fairham? To shut down debate by way of careful control and shape the consultation process to meet your objectives is, in my opinion, the action of those who are scared to lose the wider public debate. I'm not interested in talking about a PR exercise, asking Councillor Woodward a question. All I ask is that Councillor Woodward listens to the residents of this borough. The dream, build Wellborn, along with it comes cheap housing, is flawed. To sing Wellborn will bring affordability to the housing market here in Fairham is no more than a stunt playing on people's emotions. Affordability in the housing market is far more complex than just a bucket of sand and cement. There is not one person here who honestly believes building 6,000 houses in Wellborn will bring affordability to the housing market. After hours of effort to a cause, residents rec recognised early on they were speaking to a breeze block wall, a wall which had no gateway. The doorway to constructive dialogue shut. The only echoings was having from the local parents. You're having it anyway, there's only squawk filling the airways from this council. This label, local residents have a real say in the communities, is not worthy or true. There's no more than a soundbite politicians like to play. It's, not, it's time that they have the honesty and courage to say it stands for nothing, just another void where politicians masquerade as the power of good, but in fact they are the power of double talk. I'm proud to be party to an extraordinary, extraordinary assembly of individuals and community groups whose goal was to challenge this council on Wellborn. Not for the sheer hell of it, it was and still is, because we believe Wellborn is not fit for purpose. This group of extraordinary people share a common goal. We believe Wellborn is wrong for Fairham. We collectively share the view that Wellborn is a disservice to this proud town, but above all else, we sincerely believe there is a better way. This remarkable band of thought, which crosses all sections of the political spectrum, has worked tirelessly in their endeavours. And I'm proud that in the years and decades ahead, the public record will be a testimony to their professionalism. The public record will show future generations how others fundamentally disagreed with this council's pursuit of creating a new town of a thousand acres, incorporating 6,000 new homes and destroying a backdrop which one makes proud to live in Fairham. Future generations, when reading the public record, will be able to read who shaped this town against the will of the residents. I'm proud of that public record and it will shine in the years ahead. There's nothing wrong in questioning, there's nothing wrong in having a different opinion, and there's nothing wrong in seeking to bring this council to account for a stronger forum. To believe otherwise, to believe something is wrong and do nothing, brings into question why we were given the power of thought. Councillors, how many of you have read the Wellborn Plan? Many of you sit here tonight have a clue what the Wellborn Plan is going to do to this proud town of ours. Many of you have chosen a path which is not one of seeking out knowledge in the pursuit of understanding what is before you tonight, but a path of one following each other, the blind leading the blind. The leading now, you look tug and range is all that's required. And may I say to the councillor, who believes Funtley has moved its global positioning, such insight 
shows why 31 why printing 31 copies of the well-worn plan for councillors why it's a waste of paper and a waste of ink. If I was to sit you all down and give you an examination on the well-worn plan, the pass rate for that test will have to be revised down, just like the, just like the affordable homes at Wellborn. I will safely say out of 31 councillors, perhaps six would pass, would, would pass with would pass. I will say sorry, I was, six would pass with no grey A's. Sorry to say, while the rest would struggle to obtain the grey C. Others would need a probably a reset. School report should read, could do better, needs to concentrate more with more in-depth thinking. It is my belief that our councillors in this chamber tonight who couldn't answer the most basic questions on Wellborn, yet they sit here tonight and pass a plan which is horrifying more and more residents by the day. Tonight, you will undoubtedly pass a plan that does not have the support you pretend it does. There's nothing worse it worth believing in the sun is shining outside, now one step outside and one finds a raging storm. Councillors, you are here to represent Fairham, not South East, not South East Hampshire, we are here to represent the good people of this borough and not the undemocratic organisation in the name of Partnership for Urban South Hampshire, PUSH. Com although <coughs> councillors being guardians of our democratic process is a serious matter. It's the core which binds people together. When elected bodies stop listening and withdraw into their own mindset, it brings down the core of trust. It demolishes political tolerance. By all, it destroys faith in the political democratic process. The question that I would like to ask, does this, this, does this council exist to empower the wider community rather than to direct it? Today, all the community groups stand opposed to Wellborn, all of them. Wallington, Wallington Funtley, Fair Society, Knoll, Wickham, supported by CPRE Hampshire. Can they all be wrong? Can they all be speaking just for the sake of it? The voices of residents who are right across the political spectrum believe their voices are not being listened to. They understand only too well that Fairborough Council faces big challenges. However, facing those challenges is no excuse for overriding the democratic process of genuine and open dialogue with residents. Residents wish to work with this council in understanding the challenges ahead. But in doing so, we believe in a meaningful and sincere exchange of views. Residents have a right to be heard, and, and councillors, whatever party you represent, you have a duty to listen to the wider community of Fairham and address their concerns on that on the ero on that on the erosion of that put on sorry great concerns on the erosion of that precious commodity quality of life. Councillors. You have a special responsibility to gauge public concerns within the wider context of making difficult and unpopular decisions. So why is it? You have failed to give any concessions to residents with regards to Wellborn. Every criticism or objection raised by, re by residents have been met with a war of defiance. Is that really the way for modern governments to operate? Is this the way to meet the aspirations of the residents you are charged to represent? The message bringing out, we're having well born regardless, sits uneasy out there. But it being no doubt, if the volume of messages I've received since, it's, uh, since the, since the Hoggers report was released, the public are not amused. I will end by saying this. Those who oppose well born are not quietly walking off the stage. We'll be holding you to account which is the fabric of the democratic process. It's a process which goes to the core accountability. It's the cornerstone which supports the pillar of good governance. In the coming weeks, a new group will be born in Fairham, Inform Fairham, organised with a real heart for Fairham. We are happy to work with anyone in this chamber, based not on intimidation, but based on mutual respect. Just because one opposes thought, does not make one a nasty person. Councillors, the ball is firmly in your court. This community of ours demands genuine debate, calls for genuine dialogue, their voices to be heard. Look no further than the res look further no than the residents of Funtley, and I'll tell you now, councillors, others have had identical goals.
Thank you, Mr. Cunningham. Item 9 is the adoption of the well done plan. Councillor Cartwright, do you wish to speak? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I rise to propose that the provisions of Standing Order 19.4 be suspended to allow the Executive Leader and the Executive Member for Planning and Development to make a presentation on the matters before us and to speak for no longer than five minutes and also to allow the opposition spokesman to speak for not more than ten minutes. And further, that Standing Order 19.5 be suspended to allow the Executive Member for Planning and Development and the Executive Leader to speak more than once in order to respond to points raised in debate. Mr. Mayor, I propose the suspension of standing orders for item 9, adoption of our plan, and for item